in a burn up. Morning. Welcome to Thursday and greetings to our small influx of new subscribers. You're gonna have to hold it away from the <laughs> Your girls got some run throughs and some plyo work into the pit. And your boy has throwing run throughs and box drills. We were supposed to get a bunch of freezing rain last night, but it just kind of just rained, which is good. Because the last two weeks, there's been one day that the school's been closed. So it's good that it didn't happen again. Hopefully it starts to get a little bit warm. I think by Sunday, it's supposed to be like eight degrees here in London, so. If you are an Ontario University athlete and you're watching this, good luck at OUAs this weekend. Right? Or like, if I haven't put the swag out, then I oh. hope you guys did well. Yeah, or we hope you did well. Okay. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more. How's it feel to be here at 8.30 in the morning? Well, considering the lights aren't even on, oh. I feel like I should still be in bed. Today, in throwing, I just have some javelin, so gonna work on kind of the same thing that we worked on last time. And that's just like transferring or like collapsing my right leg to get like a good block. So I'm just gonna start my picking, picking, and then uh, get into the throws and bring you along with me. Be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Like a dragon fly. Just grab my head from him sin. When we tonight. We just got those things like this year and they're like already breaking. I don't think they're actually supposed to hit the ground, but by the time I started throwing with them, they're like pretty much already broken, so that's why throwing them now, but yeah. This tripod is just a tiny bit too short and super sketchy when I put it up as high as it goes. Moving on to three step drills. Just gonna focus on, um, yeah, collapsing that right leg. Check that, going to skippies. It's just told. This set, um, I'm just gonna work on more of like getting up in my penultimate step. So right before I throw, like trying to get a little bit more airborne and then just like hammering it, hammering onto my left leg, so. You know what I was saying? They're not supposed to hit the ground. That's why. Um, my bad. These things are kind of expensive too, so I think John's gonna fix it somehow. Maybe put some wood in here or something. practice um, yeah just working on those couple cues of like landing on the left and just like whipping my right John says it's like whipping something so just uh, yeah now switching gears going over to long jump triple jump um, I just have four run throughs it's pretty simple and then just some like box stuff so yeah and then Caro has I have six approaches and some plyos, and um, we're in the process of making a change with my approach. I'm not going to say what it is. If you happen to notice, it means you're a very devoted 
um, follower of ours and comment below and I will let you know if you're right. So I just read my email and, or email from Vicky, and I have a lot more approach to it, or I have a lot more jumping than I thought I did. So I actually have um, like four takeoffs from eight, four takeoffs from 12, and then four jumps. So yeah, went zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Moving on to the jumping circuit slash uh, the jumps. Uh. So in my takeoffs from eight strides and takeoffs from 12, I'm just gonna really think about like my penultimate. It's like just speeds up your last stride of like getting off your left and then getting back onto it really quickly. And Carol's got, um, just some like bounding stuff. So, enjoy. here so I decided to throw a few seven stride triple jumps at the end of my practice um, I feel like I have been able to bring the feeling from those drills going into the jump phase over to an actual triple jump which is the goal of course because you can do drills till the cows come home but if you can't translate it into a jump then it's all for nothing I'm trying out a few different cues like one of our go-to's that works 15% of the time, 15, not 50, um, is quick free leg into the jump phase. And this kind of just like forces me off the ground more quickly and not doesn't really allow me to like lose any speed into the track. Um, another kind of newer cue, as in like within the last like minute and a half, I've been thinking about it, um, is quicker arms. Cause I do use double arms halfway through my step phase into my jump phase. So kind of, using those levers to my advantage to really like bring me forward yeah. quickly. this sport is sometimes you feel like horse shit sometimes you feel <laughs> unbelievable sorry you need to do a few bleeps there but that's how good I feel um really good day I've not felt this good in a really long time like a really long time definitely since before NAFAC so like July um I just feel like I'm yet I'm finding my speed through the phases again finding my timing finding my rhythm and obviously that is very important. Um, so today was a good little mental boost. I really needed it. Thanks for watching. We are going to physio now, but first we're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna get some coffee and we're gonna go to physio and then we're gonna lift and then we're gonna play some Mario Kart and I'm gonna win and he's gonna cry and then we'll put together this vlog. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following our journey. We're happy to have you. 
This is why he doesn't have me do outros. I just, I get too sentimental. Okay, bye.